Welcome to our review on acceleration. First thing we need to know then is the definition for acceleration, which quite simply is the change in velocity per second. The next thing we need to do is to make sure that we've learnt the equation to calculate acceleration, which is given here. So acceleration in meters per second squared is the change in velocity in meters per second divided by the time in seconds. So that's one of the equations you're going to have to learn to go into your exam with because they won't give it to you. So an example of the kind of question we could see here is a motorcycle takes 2.4 seconds to have a change in velocity of plus 27 meters per second. Calculate the acceleration. First thing we do, as with all calculations, is we highlight, circle, underline or jot down the key values from the question itself to save us having to keep rereading it. So I've done that in red for you there with 2.4 seconds and the plus 27 meters per second. We then need to recall our formula that we're going to use, which is acceleration is the change in velocity divided by time. And it's always worth writing that down first of all, because even if you happen to substitute something in wrong, you've got a good chance of getting at least one of the marks for the question. Then we substitute in our values, plus 27 divided by 2.4, plug that into your calculator and then write down the response. So that should give you a result of 11.25 meters per second squared. One thing we do need to bear in mind here when we're calculating accelerations is if it's positive or negative. So if a car or an object is increasing in velocity, then it has positive acceleration. If the velocity is decreasing, then that's a negative acceleration and make sure that in any calculations you do use the correct sign, either plus or minus, otherwise you will get your question wrong. So make sure that if it's increasing the velocity, plus, decreasing velocity, minus for your acceleration. The last thing you need to remember is that when we're talking about acceleration due to gravity, which we're going to be using a lot more as we go on through the physics, then that has a value of 9.81 meters per second squared or about 10 meters per second squared. So make sure you do try and remember that because there's no guarantee they give it to you in the exam. Hopefully at the end of this video, you can define the term acceleration. You can recall the formula to calculate acceleration and carry out calculations using that formula when given information in a question.